Hi guys, welcome to today's video. This is the second video I've filmed today so far. Um, the first one was this makeup look, my fall go-to makeup look. I wanted to talk about um, the law of attraction. Sorry, I moved back again. The law of attraction and also um, my spirit, spirit, spirituality. First, I'm gonna start off with three. <laughs> it's trying to remember how to do three, so it's like three books. But my hand is just filled with makeup like that. Three books that I am currently reading. These are the three books: this one, this one, and this one. Thrive. Seven Strategies for Extraordinary Living, Blue Highways, Journey to America. These are both self-help, travel-esque books. This one is a crime novel, which I really, really enjoyed. Like after reading it, it went right up there to my um, top list, authors that I love. And up there was J.R. Ward, which is like the best lady in the world. Like. I kid you not I love that lady so she's up there and crime book kind of just read it it's called Miami purity I'm making some notes in it while I'm how to be productive how to enjoy life and how to like basically thrive I've been also journaling a lot so everyone knows this journal it's the five-year journal the Q&A a day um, I bought this in 2015, forgot about it, and just like came back to start using it again. So it's mostly blank, a lot of it. Towards the end, it gets like more stuff. Oh, I made like a little bookmark for it. So these are the ones I've done. Okay, I'll just tell you what the one for today was. It was write down the name of someone you had a good conversation with recently. And it was just fun. It's fun to do these. So my next one, I put the paper on it. It didn't come on it. So it's like journal 2017-2018. It's a, what do you call this? A leather skin journal. The first page is entries from 2016. Yeah. And then the second two pages are just YouTube ideas journal entry it's like quite long i try to write at least two to three pages part of it that i use for gratitude to do my gratitude journal one so this is my gratitude stuff this is the one from today i wrote this one in and basically i put it here gratification right down so this was the eight <laughs> And this one's the ninth. And basically I just write down everything that I am grateful for while I look dark. There's another section there's another section in this book, in the same leather skin book, that is for um, manifestation and law of attraction stuff. So yeah, this page right here is um, all of the stuff I want to manifest. I like to do mine because it helps me. So I just write down everything that I want to manifest. Currently, there are 23 things. Journal I have is. Dun, 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 dun. It's kind of weird. So it's called Stream of Consciousness. That's the type of journal it is. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up on YouTube or I can just tell you like briefly what it is. So every day when you get up, um, you before you do anything you sit down and or lie down whichever way is comfortable for you just be comfortable be in a nice positive background and you write down without thinking I haven't read anything that i've written so far yet it goes on and on remember you're writing without thinking so sometimes you're just gonna be way too overwhelmed your brain's not gonna be as full as I, mine was that day because this is four pages <laughs> but well five pages actually wow go girl she is <laughs> so and then 
we have song demons i was just walk, looking at it i'm like i feel like they would make a song about this you know this is a song so it went from october 5th to october 8th and this is it i'm telling you it doesn't matter what you write as long as you write something it doesn't have to be particularly too long or too short it's just i do as much as i can get as much as i can get off my brain and then if i can't get anything else why waste my time right now it's the talking time so i wanted to talk about the law of attraction it's not something new to me but it's something that i didn't know that i had been doing for a while like practicing without knowing so basically what the law of attraction is if you don't know is you can go on netflix they have the secret back up again so you can go there and you can watch it or if you don't have netflix you can go to tubby tv it's a free site it's a free app also on like iphone and android and you go on that and you type in the secret and you should be able to watch it for free also so when you get those two two things if you either or you go and you watch it then you can come back and sit down and listen to me talk about it who heard was the law of attraction means putting out to get back in that's all in all put in the secret is it's like magic but it really isn't it might sound like magic and it might sound far-fetched and it might sound a bit out of the world but it isn't it if you really sit down and like think about it it makes lots of sense so what the law of attraction is you saying to the universe or to god or to whoever you preach to or pray to because it's like the same person really it's the same person and I'm sorry if I'm gonna get like lots of hate for this or anything it's the same person so you say to the universe you say like I said I have over 26 in my dreams is to have a healthy lifestyle so I will say I use the 17 second rule which you do for 68 seconds 68 minutes is it 68 seconds so 68 seconds so basically you set a timer for 17 seconds and you repeat over and over your your a affirmation with your dream so you say i want to live a healthy lifestyle because i deserve it or because the universe and i are one and he believes i deserve it or they believe I deserve it so you keep saying that until the 17 seconds is up then you press it again and you do it for another 17 seconds I think it's about four 17 seconds make one um, 68 seconds so just know you're gonna do it four times so you do in your affirmation and you say it and then the timer stops you start again stops you start again stop you start again and then what you're gonna do after that is you take it out of your mind well not to like forget about it completely like you just you stop thinking about it stop focusing on it what you're gonna do is after doing that you go and you do gratitude or you can do gratitude before just to get your frequencies up and get um, like a positive vibration going on so what you can do for that is like taking care of your body taking care of yourself taking care of others calling people asking them how they are you know clean your room just do things that are positive and that will affect you positively do your makeup like i did that's my me raising my positive frequency today like i want to get my face so pretty and feel all confident and beautiful and then you leave it you leave it when you put it out there and you let it go it goes to the universe and though you you haven't forgotten it completely it's not on your mind every second however how long it will take to get to you it will get to you when that happens what you're going to do is you're going to do gratitude for that again so 
one of the things that I realized is that before I knew it was called the law of attraction is that I was already doing this so I have a couple examples I think I have about three do not quote me on that it might not be right so the first one would be wow the light went away shows the law of attraction is a post from um, 2015 um, December 10th so it says my life so far hey guys I'm back again and I had to take a break because I've been trying to get my life on track my goals and aspirations for 27 so 2016 when I was writing this so I said I'm 18 now guys <laughs> I'm 18 now guys big changes are on the way so basically it's almost the end of my second quarter in college and I've been busting my ass um, so basically so far I have awesome grades I haven't told much people but I decided to start changing myself for the better so I'm having therapy sessions that was in 2015 I stopped that because it wasn't really helping me the way I wanted it to I decided to give it to the universe and he will fix it so I decided to have a happy year in 2016 so that's the whole thing right there I decided that in 2016 I was gonna be happy and I said this with so much passion and so much strength that 2016 was my best year ever and without knowing it when 2016 ended last year this year last year coming into this year I said something along the lines of without even knowing that's what I was doing I said that I don't think anything will ever match up to 2016 because it was so good without knowing I put the negative connotation onto my year and I just kept believing that wow 2017 is just so bad it's not the best you know what it's not gonna be as good as 2016 it's not gonna be good at all and that's what I got you know it was a pretty bad 2017 I wasn't working I stopped going to school because I graduated with my associates in fashion merchandise and marketing I basically wasn't doing anything I was just looking for jobs and then I started a job which was really sketchy story time will be coming about that it was a very sketchy job and then I got fired from that job which I was gonna quit from but he caught me too fast I guess I just made the year like the first half of my year totally bad just by saying it's not gonna be a good as year as 2016 so I degraded my year the year was gonna be as good as however I make it however I said it was gonna be but then I said before coming into the year even in the year I said oh look this is 2016 and 2017 oh look 2016 was up here I don't think 2017 can do as good so it just went down because I didn't believe that it could be as good and that's the whole thing with law of attraction you have to believe in what you dream and want you know 2016 was a really good year I wish I had not done it this way not done um, the whole thing about 2017 not being good as good as 2016 because trust me I would have been like so much happier during the first part of the year I wasn't like super sad or anything but I wasn't my happiest not only do you need to do like gratitude like I do it every day because it doesn't really it doesn't feel um, forced or anything if it feels forced that means you're not you're just not gonna get what you're asking for it should feel like a joyous thing for you to do but never should gratitude feel forced you even though your life might seem like complete shit show I'm so sorry even if it might seem like a complete shit show there are lots of good things in your life like that's how I was thinking like for for like a good half of this year so basically for a good half of the year what the hell was I talking about? attitude <laughs> even though Oh, I just got an affirmation reminder all things lead to my success happiness and something else that I totally forgot but I say that every day 
there were a lot of things in 2017 during the start of the year even as bad as I felt about it about the year the starting of the year there were a lot of good things that I just loved I love that I had money to buy things I love that I had my cat if you guys didn't know I had a cat I don't think I filmed that during that whole three six months of my life me having a cat um, I'll just insert like a little snippet of it I guess um, I was grateful for my cat I was grateful for my room I was grateful for my, my home space I'm grateful for internet grateful for my phone grateful for my laptop I was grateful that I had makeup like these are things I was grateful for even though it was like a bad year you know like I was only being what is the word being ignorant is that the word I'm looking for maybe not I'm gonna use ignorant for right now I was only being ignorant because I couldn't see that I had a lot of good stuff going on for me like I said you write down your wish you can write manifestation one of the things that you can do is to write that you already have the thing that you want so writing it in this is super fun it's like in the secret they describe, describe it as like a catalog so that's what that kind of is for me every day I write down like let's say I have the goal right now I'm on like my weight loss journey and I have the goal of being well the goal is to be 80 pounds lighter to my um, correct weight which is 130 um, so far I've lost 10 pounds and the goal is to lose the other 70 so one of my um, manifestation is that I will lose the 40 pounds by the end of this year like by December and I gave a date and I gave a time so basically to show that this is going to happen and then after I did this what I did is I went in this book so I wrote the manifestation in this book and then I went in this book right here and I wrote I have been enjoying my body I have been 40 pounds lighter I am happier and healthier I am happy that the universe conspired with me to give me my dream so basically you just thank the universe you think about how good you feel in your body your new banging body or with your new car so basically that's that's the law of attraction if you like this video thumbs it up okay thumbs it up and also not only thumbs up but subscribe can I can I expect that yeah. and you'll get more videos about law of attraction and how to write journals and trust me I am very new to writing journals I don't hate writing but I had never well I used to diary like way back when and I used to write private thoughts and stuff in it and I wrote some bad stuff about some people in it and my parents being Jamaican as they are got mad at me and I kind of got beaten for it so it was like a bad experience for me and I hadn't gone back to writing ever since like writing my thoughts down what I think about things just because of that bad experience but like I said you give it to the universe and then you let it go so I let that go and I let go most of my childhood and decided to start anew so if you guys like this video like I said thumbs up subscribe and then come back to watch me next time <laughs>